Lights, camera, action. Welcome to the magic of the movies. These aren't special effects. These are real images of brine shrimp undergoing what's called a vertical migration. So we have a tank of brine shrimp. They are representative of marine zooplankton such as krill in terms of their size and their swimming mode. With support from the National Science Foundation, engineers John DeBiri and Isabel Houghton want to better understand how vertical migrations of tiny marine animals like krill contribute to ocean mixing. We're very interested in how the ocean works because that's going to determine our future here on Earth. The ocean is the primary sink of our carbon emissions. It provides fish for a lot of coastal communities, really for the entire world. And so we're interested in its health and its future. Scientists have long chalked up ocean mixing to winds and tides. But now it looks like that's not the whole story. Oceans are teeming with shrimp-like krill. They're the base of the marine food chain. Every night, they migrate in giant swarms to the surface to feed. When you have millions of these organisms doing that, we thought there was the possibility that that downward motion of the water might start to add up, almost like a stampede that occurs at the end of each day. In the lab, they recreate the vertical migrations using sensors and high-speed cameras to follow what happens as the shrimp swim through different concentrations of salt water. We can actually do laboratory experiments with them to really fully understand the fluid dynamics of what's occurring when you have a migration of a swarm through a stratified water column. Brine shrimp are phototactic, meaning they'll swim toward light. That allows us to use light sources, such as lasers or LEDs, to control their motion. Their experiments show that all that kicking really does contribute to some serious churn in the water. So we found, surprisingly, that these small animals can have an enormous impact on the mixing of the water column, and that they can also create eddies in the water column that are much larger than their individual body sizes. As the saying goes, there's power in numbers. One swimming shrimp is no big deal, but millions or even trillions swimming together, that's a different story. What started to come up as a potential mechanism for impacting the ocean was this collective behavior where these krill or other zooplankton form swarms or schools that are orders of magnitude larger than their own size. So imagine mixing at a scale of kilometers and that can become significantly more impactful to the entire ocean. Dabiri says these vertical migrations are key to understanding how our oceans work. What we're trying to do is understand those processes that drive ocean circulation, for example, because that's going to allow us to predict what happens with future climate. If these organisms are playing a significant role in the ocean, then that's an important feature that we need to add to our calculations of what will happen to global climate in the coming years. Mixing it up in the lab, discovering these tiny sea creatures to be far more than bit players in our oceans. They're more like the stars of the show. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.